Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Supanya. This little man right here will be sitting with me as I do the voiceover for this vlog. So basically, um, this vlog is uh, the same day as the Appleton Rum Estate Tour. Um, if you watched my last vlog, then this is basically the continuation. So this is us arriving at our villa. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. You can park here today? Okay. Blue house as ours. I didn't get to do a tour of the place itself when we got there, but later on I promise I will show you the rooms and the, the, the entire inside. Now I can't promise you guys that my room will be clean, but I will still give you a tour just so you can see what the villa is like if possibly you're interested in staying there. And as soon as we reach, the rain starts. The perfect nap weather. Two hours later. This is what Daddy and Baby are doing on our trip. Them. Can I be like you gotcha. The next day. So guys, we basically slept the night away um, yesterday because of COVID. The government set in place a curfew for 3 p.m. So really, with the rain and curfew being 3 p.m., there was really nothing that we could do. So we just went to bed. And today we got up early to get ready for our activities that we had ahead, so that we can enjoy ourselves and then actually make it back in time before the 3 p.m. curfew. So our villa came with the staff that prepared our meals for us. We get breakfast and dinner each day. This is a little snippet of what it looks like. So today we are going to a bar in the middle of the ocean. Walking down to the beach to get picked up. We're supposed to be picked up uh, by our uh, tour, boat tour guy, and um, pickup time was 10. As you can see, we were a little late, but it didn't really matter because um, our tour, our boat was late too. So we ended up walking to the other side because we thought maybe that's where we were going to be picked up at. And then on our walk over there, we realized that our ride was coming and we ended up having to walk back to um, our villa's beach entrance to actually be picked up there. And that's where the fun began. Our ride is here. Plan for get with, man. Come so, where do you so. feel less of the motion? Let me go well, all right. Why don't we see? We'll pick up that one. No, man, because we get. I know, but I know we have to pick up that one. I will 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 pick up that one.
guys so once again we're on our way to Floyd's Pelican Bar and this is definitely a must do if you're visiting Jamaica So Pelican Bar was originally created by Floyd for him and his fishermen friends to just as a link up spot to go and have a drink after you know like a long day of fishing and of course it's got its name the Pelican Bar because of the many pelicans that are often in the area. Over time this became a popular spot for locals and eventually tourists and back in 2004 Hurricane Ivan destroyed the first Pelican Bar but the people loved it so much that they helped to rebuild it and it is what you see here now. Definitely like I said it's a must do. It's great for drinking if you just want to chill out in the water a little. It's okay if you can't swim because the water is way really steep and it's just a perfect chill spot for a day of just vibing in the middle of the ocean. So when you get here, there's a little pipe to the right, if you can see it right there. They let you wash your hands before you come in, then they check your temperature, and then you are allowed to enter the premises. So we're actually not stopping here right now. We were just letting off the people that were riding with us first, because we we're about to head to another adventure over in the Black River. And then we're gonna head back here afterwards for our meal because this, of course, is our main stop of the day. Along the way, um, our tour guide, BB, told us a lot about the homes that are on the side here and how they are often affected by um, hurricane and heavy rain whenever they do get heavy rain because, you know, the south coast, there isn't much like holding you in, it's just water. So a lot of these homes often got damaged, um, they suffer a lot of loss. why they're under there but I won't get into that part right now just know that baby Z was safe at all times That's over there. we're in the black thank you sir <laughs> we're in the black river
call it blacker vase. You know how black the water is? And it's raining. at this moment where it decided to pour some more and Ty decided to record us of course um, to make fun because you know they were <laughs> being sheltered from the rain but that's okay as much as it was pouring I didn't mind I just took it as blessings from God while I you know enjoyed this experience Thank God for iPhone being updated and being water. But we can't take too much check, so I'm gonna turn off the phone right now and put it back so you can drive. We just went on an adventure in Black River. As you can see, I went from straight here. And that, guys, is the funny story behind the reason why Ty and my son was on the boat ship. So we arrived back at Pelican Bar, and of course, no rain fell over here. So we just arrived wet, like wet dog. People looking at us, wondering why we're wet, not knowing that we just went through pretty much like a thunderstorm over at Black River. Thank you. Reach, let you wash your hands right there. And this gentleman, I have to get my temperature checked over because it was. So upon crazy. arrival after the Black River tour, my body temperature was a bit cold. So I had to sit in the corner and wait for it to heat up a bit before I could get my temperature checked over and then allowed to enter the premises. So after my timeout session was over, I uh, took some pictures with my son and some with Ty and Duaney of course. Then we ate the food that we ordered. Um, the food here, now you guys gotta remember this is called Floyd's Pelican Bar, not bar and restaurant. So it was a bit subpar. So if you're looking for anything spectacular then no. But if you're just coming to enjoy the view, have a good drink, nibble on something, then definitely this is the vibe. Overall the place itself was amazing. It was a nice cool chill vibe. I wish I took more pictures of the place itself but the vibe was really nice and I definitely definitely want to come back because I want to carve my name <laughs> in the wood I didn't get to while there. The rest of the day we just enjoyed the amenities at the villa and now I'm actually going to give you guys a tour of what the place actually looks like. So here we have the pool which is a shared pool between our villa and the other villa that is on the premises. There's a jacuzzi, it's a bit of an infinity pool and down below we have the, a deck overlooking the beautiful Caribbean Sea. Um, I mean just look at this view, like look at it, it's breathtaking. It was honestly I did not mind um, being back here for curfew at all and just enjoying all of this beauty. The water hidden against the rocks, it was just amazing.
So I wasn't able to show you guys every meal presentation, but this was basically how it was each time. I showed you breakfast, now this was dinner. This was it was actually our last day. I got up a little early again because, you know, I wanted to take a walk on the beach, kind of just breathe in the morning air, take some pictures before we had to say goodbye. All right, and now for the grand tour of this blue house that belonged to us. Uh, so it's a two bedroom, two bathroom home. It comes with living room, dining room, it's a kitchen. And of course, like I said, it comes with the staff. There's a full bathroom downstairs and upstairs are the two bedrooms and one other bathroom. Plus a little like chill area right here. Um, now remember, I said my room was messy, so do not judge. <laughs> But mess aside, this is basically what both rooms look like. Everything has seen that you are the truth itself, cause nothing else can take me so far. And guys, that's the end of this vlog. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My afternoon dream when the world is beaten. I am still sleeping in my blue dream and I know the meaning for all the seasons. You are the reason, my love.